Welcome to our biology presentation on the classification of organisms. Today, we'll explore how scientists classify living organisms into distinct groups, helping us understand the diversity of life on Earth. Let's dive into the fascinating world of biological classification. By the end of this presentation, you'll be able to describe the importance of the six kingdom system and the three domain system of classification. These systems help us organize life forms and understand their evolutionary relationships. Biological classification is like creating a universal language for biology. It allows scientists to organize organisms based on shared characteristics, making it easier to study them, avoid confusion in naming, and trace their evolutionary history. In the past, life was simply divided into two kingdoms, plants and animals. But as microscopes revealed a hidden world of microorganisms, scientists realized this system was too limited. To better reflect the diversity of life, the Six Kingdom system was developed. It includes archaebacteria, eubacteria, protista, fungi, plantae, and animalia. Each kingdom represents a unique way of life. Let's take a closer look at each of the Six Kingdoms and what makes them special. Archaebacteria are ancient organisms that thrive in extreme environments like hot springs and salty lakes. They're genetically distinct from regular bacteria and have unique cell membrane structures. Eubacteria are the everyday bacteria we encounter. Some are helpful, like those in our gut, while others can cause diseases. They play vital roles in ecosystems and human health. Protists are mostly single-celled eukaryotes. Some can photosynthesize, while others ingest food. They move using cilia, flagella, or pseudopodia. Protists are incredibly diverse and often serve as the foundation of aquatic food chains. Fungi include molds, mushrooms, and yeasts. They have cell walls made of chitin and store food as glycogen. Unlike plants, fungi don't photosynthesize, they absorb nutrients from their surroundings. Plants are multicellular organisms that use sunlight to make food through photosynthesis. Their cell walls are made of cellulose, and they store energy as starch. They're essential for life on Earth, producing oxygen and food. Animals are multicellular, eukaryotic organisms. They don't have cell walls and rely on consuming other organisms for energy. From insects to humans, animals are incredibly diverse and complex. Beyond the six kingdoms, scientists also classify life into three domains, archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. These domains reflect fundamental differences in cellular structure and genetics. The three domains are, archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. Let's explore what makes each domain unique. Archaea are prokaryotic cells with unique membrane structures and cell walls that lack peptidoglycan. They're resistant to many antibiotics and have distinct genetic material. Many live in extreme environments, thanks to their stable membrane linkages. Bacteria are also prokaryotic but differ from archaea in membrane composition and cell wall structure. They're sensitive to traditional antibiotics and include a wide range of species, from cyanobacteria to gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Eukarya includes all organisms with eukaryotic cells those with a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. This domain encompasses the kingdom's plantae, animalia, fungi, and protista. Eukaryotes have diverse cell structures and are sensitive to antibiotics that target eukaryotic cells. Thank you for listening. We hope this presentation helped you understand how life is classified into kingdoms and domains. Remember, classification is not just about naming. It's about understanding the incredible diversity and complexity of life on Earth.